Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the West, more specifically, Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are in front of the Hollywood Car Museum here in Las Vegas. We're not in Hollywood, we are in Las Vegas, but um, there's lots of car museums all over, all over the country. I've stopped at quite a few car museums, and um, I do find that, that you know, they, they, each one has something unique to offer. You know, they're not all just a bunch of old cars. And I was, sometimes I'm like worried, you know, if I go in, it's just gonna be a bunch of old cars, but I'm always pleasantly surprised. And I've heard very good things about this museum. I've heard that there are some very strange and unusual cars, which always interests me. So, without further ado, let's head inside. Follow me. Flintstones style car. Didn't the Flintstones go to Las Vegas or I think it was, was it, what was he called? Rock, Rock Vegas maybe? Oh wow, this taxi here was actually used in the film Scrooged. It's been so long since I've seen that movie, but I do remember it was, like, it was a great movie. There was definitely a taxi scene in there. I, I remember there was like a, Bill Murray was possibly trapped in a taxi. It's like a crazed taxi driver, I think. Looks like some sort of Soviet mini tank. Here's a socially distanced lounge. You can see there's a couch, but these chairs are all made out of car chunks. They do seem to have a fair share of uh, older cars. This is a Edsel Villager station wagon. That's pretty cool looking. Wasn't the Edsel like the biggest car failure of all time? Weird little car here just has one little tiny tire in the front. That's seems uh, somewhat uh, not optimal. We have a little tiny car here. Does not look like this gentleman is overly thrilled about having to drive around in this tiny little car. All right, follow the stars to the entrance of the museum. Looks like a lot of these cars are currently being worked on by these mannequin mechanics, such as this gentleman right here. This motorized tricycle right here was designed by George Barris, very famous designer of Hollywood movie cars. You can see it's currently being driven by Mr. Elvis Presley, a famed uh, figure here in Las Vegas. This is a BMW Assetta mini car. According to the sign, this was popular with ladies for some reason, but yeah, very fascinating. Look at the whole front of the car opens up and the steering wheel actually pulls out when you open the car. Interesting, I'd, like, I'd love to drive something like that. And here's the other side. Really colorful car, love love the paint job. This horse says Deezerland Ranch. I think there's another auto museum in Orlando called Deezerland. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of connection. All right, so here is the Fast and the Furious section. And anyone that's been to a few car museums realizes that um, there are a lot of cars from the Fast and the Furious, the movie about cars. So car museums are kind of full of Fast and the Furious cars. This is kind of interesting how, oh yeah, you can see how banged up that is. And it's got like metal bracing on the inside, I guess, to keep the car from crumbling. Here's a Lincoln Continental from Spider-Man 2. It says this was used as a villain getaway car. I've seen Spider-Man 2, but man, it has been a long time, so I don't remember the exact scene or which villains got away in this car. Here's a replica of the Beverly Hillbillies car and the sign says that while being transported to this museum that the grandma's rocking chair actually fell off the truck onto the highway but says that they were able to eventually locate it and bring it back here to the museum. A look at grandma there. Here is a roller skate hot rod. See, the wheels are the wheels. And then I guess you would sit at the very top of the shoe and drive it. Very, very cool. This is called a Mercer Schmidt. 
but I have uh, another very, very tiny, unusual car. Now in car museums, probably the most popular car you'll find is the General Lee from Dukes of Hazard, as you can see here. This one said it actually traveled with the, the Dukes of Hazard stunt team, and it is fitted with a TV above the steering wheel so that people can sit in the car and have a simulation on what it is like to go on a jump. Yeah, you can see there's like a DVD player down there. So this is built by a car builder called Jay Oberg, and uh, that's amazing. <laughs> Apparently he made strange and unusual cars, and that is called the bunk bed. Um, I'm not sure how you drive it. Can you drive it laying down? Do you have to have two people to drive it? Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, the, oh, okay. The pedals are right there. Ah, I guess you do drive it laying down. That is really interesting. That seems dangerous, but uh, at the same time, very uh, relaxing. Here we have Kit from Knight Rider. And let's see here. Oh, look. There's the disembodied head of David Hasselhoff. This is K-I-T-T -T Super Pursuit. I guess this is a more advanced version of Kit from uh, Knight Rider. It says that this taxi over here was actually used in the movie The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, starring Brad Pitt. This little scooter right there. Another big scooter. Another mannequin mechanic hard at work. Another car that is extremely popular for car museums and private collectors alike is to have a DeLorean decked out like the time machine from Back to the Future. I wonder, is there, is there, this is a replica, I wonder, where is uh, the, the original? Does the original actually exist somewhere? I'm sure someone knows the answer to that. I don't know if this is some sort of child's car here, where it's pretty low to the ground. You see, that tire would drive right over top of it if, if people weren't careful. Here is a Bonnie and Clyde death car. There used to be lots of fake Bonnie and Clyde death cars that would travel around the country. It does say that this is not the original, but it says this was used in movies. I know the one from the Warren uh, Beatty movie is at the Alcatraz East in Pigeon Forge. So I'm not sure which movie this one would have actually been used in. Please do not touch the vehicles. Thank you. I, I wasn't. I wasn't even I wasn't even thinking about it, buddy. This car here, as you can see from the license plate, was used to promote the film Porky's 2. I've never seen Porky's or Porky's 2. Is this a movie that I should watch? I know nothing about it. It's got a pretty sweet little flying pig hood ornament there. Always love the classic Adam West Batman car. To me, th to me this is I think my favorite old school uh, movie slash TV car, just that perfect design. Here is the uh, Bat Cycle, where Batman would ride there and Robin would ride down here, and then this could actually detach into a second vehicle for Robin to ride on. Look at this limo here. This is the most amazing thing that has ever existed. It has a hot tub in the back, not just a hot tub, but a heart-shaped hot tub in the back. It says that this limo was featured on an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and I guess you would have to be pretty rich to be able to afford something like this. Look at all the seats. It's, yeah, it's like a limo convertible, which is insane. I think it's, it's you gotta be so rich that you can afford to have Elvis riding in the back seat. And I don't know who these people are. Uh, maybe one of these is Marilyn Monroe. I'm not sure. Not sure who that guy is. Maybe he looks a little bit like Quentin Tarantino. I don't know. And yeah, no idea who this, this gentleman is. Drive careful there, buddy. You got some precious cargo. All these, uh, all these famous mannequins. Here's the Batmobile from Batman Returns. Again, that's really cool looking, but still prefer the Adam West version over all others. So I'm not even entirely sure what this is. Looks like it's big jacked up car that's made out of wood, it's full of surfboards, I don't, sort of surf mobile, I don't even know what to call it. It says this is from a James Bond movie called The Man with the Golden Gun. It is a car plane, it actually has plane wings on it, and I assume it could fly. Um, 
Not the sleekest design for a flying car, but uh, it looks like it gets the job done. We got this little fellow riding shotgun here, but uh, no one's uh, no one's driving the motorcycle. Oh boy, this is an actual stunt van used in the A Team TV show. So you got it, you got it running. Is it up to up to snuff there, buddy? It says that this is a lifeboat from the Tom Hanks film Captain Phillips. Look at that, Superman hanging out here in the car museum. And then we have a red, white, and blue version of Mater from Cars. Um, was there one of the movies where he was red, white, and blue? I've only seen the first one, so I don't know if that's from one of the sequels. I think this is some sort of snowmobile. I guess a, some sort of cow-based taxi. Is that a Herbie uh, limo, I think? I mean, it's not very long, but it's, but it's, a, it's a Herbie, so it wouldn't be very long. Is that a Herbie limo? Herbie limo, maybe? This is the VW Shalako. Shalako? We'll go with Shalako. Here we have a somewhat grizzled looking uh, Evil Knievel. Here is an Elton John Supercart. It even has glowing star glasses. That is amazing. We see uh, Liberace there. That is, that is quite an outfit and quite a look. Apparently this code will uh, tell you more about Liberace. They actually have a huge collection of Liberace's cars from his private estate. Man, uh, Liberace, he had, he had some cash, didn't he? I've been looking for another vehicle. Oh, okay. Just trying to keep that band-aid on so I can get around it. Yes, yes. I'm doing better. I'm doing a lot better. It's an actual piano car that uh, you can uh, drive while playing the piano. Multitask. See the Liberace slot machines there? Because these are some screeniest outfits from behind the Candelabra movie. Here on top of the piano, we can see uh, some of Liberace's fancy bow ties, his fancy shoes, and the heart of Liberace giant crystal. I don't know, I don't think that's a real diamond. It's a little too big. Yeah, I almost forgot that Liberace was a bad guy on Batman. Everything is so shiny. The bedazzled piano. The fur coat there. And then I think you maybe put a few more diamonds there. Here is a Ch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. This is a race car from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And what was the villain called in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Was it the the Child Snatcher or something? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Racer. Vehicles on display is a recreation of the Chitty Racer that Sheridan's Potts transforms into the phantasmagorical Chitty. What the heck? It says this is the Terminator's Harley Davidson. This is James Bond's hovercraft from the movie Die Another Day starring Pierce Bronson. Here's some more Flintstones cars. Looks like this one. This one looks like it's made entirely out of meat. Does not look like a meat mobile? What is that? Yabadoo says on the license plate. I do think it's charming how they have all these mannequin mechanics or mannequinics around. The sign says, Hi, I'm Steve. I'm the mayor of Hot Rod City, and I want to tell you this is my favorite micro car. I guess that is Steve, the mayor of Hot Rod City, and this is his favorite micro car. This is a snowmobile from the G.I. Joe movie, Rise of Cobra. There's quite a collection of James Bond cars here. This is from The Spy Who Loved Me. This is a submarine car driven by Roger Moore. I guess you just drive the car into the water. and Some of the, some of the stuff is really insane in James Bond movies. I've, I've honestly never seen a movie with James Bond. Don't get, don't get mad. Here's one of the cars from Death Race 2000. And uh, look at this. It is being driven by none other than Kermit the Frog. He is going to try to kill people with this car because like, I think you get points by killing people. Like that's how it works. This is kind of confusing. This is one car with two front ends. There's two steering wheels 
you can drive in both directions, I guess. It's also being piloted by two clowns. And uh, if you look, they're actually handcuffed together. This is quite an alarming situation that is unfolding. Oh yes, this is a true Vegas legend here. The car from The Hangover. I just watched this movie the first night I was here in Vegas. But yeah, this was Doug's uh, father-in-law's car. Who was very, who lent it to him, but told him to take care of it. Of course, it got smashed up and then they had to put uh, the sleeping tiger in the back. The tiger woke up and destroyed the inside of the car. Oh, this is so great, so great. Great little piece of movie history. This is the Dragula from the Munsters. Of course, Rob Zombie would borrow that name and make an awesome song to go along with it. And look at this guy driving it. He is freaky looking. Looney Tunes themed car here with Taz bursting out of the top. It's Taz, it's Taz. Another James Bond vehicle, a little mini jet here. I must say, I've never seen James Bond, but it looks like they have some crazy vehicles. Oh my gosh, look who it is. It's it's Hulk Hogan, brother. Oh my gosh, look at him. He did, oh, I love, oh, gotta, gotta love the Hulkster. Looks like the museum ends here in the Vespa room, this massive collection of Vespa scooters. So great car museum, the Hollywood Car Museum here in Las Vegas. Don't let the name fool you, it is in Las Vegas. Um, it also looks like they're adding on an entire Liberace Museum in the back. So that's, I guess, not been uh, been opened yet. But uh, yeah, it's really great, a really great museum. And you know, with these different car museums, everyone is different and, and you kind of see a reflection in like the collector's tastes. Like this one had a lot of James Bond. So, you know, obviously uh, collectors will like certain properties or certain movies, maybe gravitate towards getting cars to those one, making every collection distinct and unique. And this is a very distinct and unique collection. And oh my gosh, the hangover car. I think that was probably, probably my favorite one in there. That's such a legendary movie and it's so, tied in with Las Vegas here. I think that the perfect crown jewel to their collection. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, please like and subscribe to these videos if you enjoy watching them. Um, and check out some of my older videos. I have videos from all 48 continental United States where I visit roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. Other ways to help support the channel are through Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month. You can also buy something in the Etsy shop. All that helps keep this boat on the water, this train on the tracks, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, this one's in the bag.